Hi, hi. It's the tiny one slash bishi. And really not happy right now. Um, some of you may know about the, uh, ongoing battle I've been having with not only the post office, but with, um, an Ally Express vendor. Um, but yeah, my little post office thing, my little post office battle, I guess you should say, ended with no good conflict resolution. And pretty much they said, well, at first the story they gave was you know, catching you all up for the ones that you don't know. Uh, first their story was, oh, we must have put your package in the wrong box. Okay, I can understand a mistake. Then the story changed to, oh no, I remember I put your, uh, your package by the door, so someone must have stolen it. I've lived in this address and around the corner for about uh, six years, over six years. I have never had a package stolen. And at both locations I've lived at, there has been a neighbor across the street who sees everything. So if my package had been stolen, I wouldn't have heard about it from her. No. This was the post office screwing up, accidentally hitting delivered because they delivered it to the wrong address and trying to cover up their tracks because they didn't want to admit fault. Now, because of this, when I opened a claim to, um, to the Ally Express, of course, they need evidence. More than just my word. And of course, I can't give evidence because the post office is covering their ass. So, the little dispute that I was in ended today with Ally Express releasing the money to the vendor. Why I'm mad, I never got that package. I ended up having to get the package a second time. A friend helped me, thankfully for that, or else I would never, I wouldn't have had to remove Kuzu from my Fanime lineup and I would have a very pissed off friend. Um, but yeah, I do have a Kuzu outfit finally and wig, but the first one that I personally ordered, the money is gone. The money is at the vendor and I don't have a package or I don't have a costume to show for it. And Um, I don't know what the quality, I have no idea what the quality of my costume is going to be. I don't know if it was going to be the right size. I don't know. I don't know if this vendor is a good vendor for me to buy from again or anything like that because the post office screwed up and I'm out of money. So basically they're getting money And I get nothing. I get screwed. Is that fair? Is that really fair? I don't think that's fair. And here's the other thing. The vendor, I was going through all the steps and letting the vendor know what was happening through each step. And I was getting no sympathy. The vendor was not offering me um, to mail out another package. He wasn't offering to give me a discount. I didn't even get a portion of what I paid back. I, I get nothing. Nothing. Like, I have this money to throw around and just waste on costumes that I don't even get. How fair is that? I mean, I know... I know that you should expect some sort of risk 
when ordering stuff online, but seriously, to get no compensation at all, and for people to be like, I don't know, I don't know, and act stupid? No. Not happy about this. And, I mean, thankfully I raised enough ruckus with the post office that now they're sending me all my packages. And so far I haven't missed the one that I know of. But this is really, still has me cheesed off. Because... You know, I could have put that money towards something else. I could have put that money toward FANIME. That could have gone for my ticket. That could have gone for other stuff that I need. That could have gone for food. But no. It's like I took the money and flushed it down the toilet. That's about how useful it's been to me. So, yeah. That's pretty much the end of this horrible experience I've had with this stupid package. And, I don't know, I'm just really upset about this whole thing, and I know this isn't what you come to my channel to watch, or what you look on my Facebook page to watch. But, I don't know what to say. And I know, I, I'm posting this mainly because I know some of you probably had wanted some sort of um, resolution or to find out what had happened, what was going on with this ongoing crap thing. But, it's over. I'm screwed. And it seems like nobody on either end gives, gives a crap. At all. No skin off their ass, you know. One is like, ooh, I ain't got a government job, nothing can happen to me. And on the other end is, oh, well, you know, at least I get the money. So, yeah. This wasn't the video I had planned to post, but it had to be posted. Just, yeah. I'm really untrustworthy in my post office right now, and seriously, <clears throat> I will cause even more ruckus than I did if this ever happens again. They've already been on, I've already put them on blast, and have called and bugged them, even called the main post office, not my local one, to put them in line, because this is totally unacceptable. You don't... How hard is it to match a package address to the address, to the physical address? You match it and then you click um, package delivered. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you had a long day. Do your job. That's what you're paid to do. I mean... Normal people, not in government jobs, will get fired for not doing their job correctly. But y'all got the cushy jobs, so you can go ahead and, you know, screw around and do whatever, do half-assed job, and you will still have a job, still doing it incorrectly, and pissing people like me off. So yeah, I'm going out with a friend tomorrow, and then the next day I'm going to go see Civil War. And hopefully this Saturday I get to go to the cosplay gathering that I was planning on going to. Because I really need to do something, or several somethings, to take my mind off losing all this money. Which is freaking ridiculous. I'll hopefully be able to have a much happier video for you tomorrow.